don't have anything to wear to your favorite festivals this summer? This week we're teaching you how to knit a bikini top. Hi Threadbanger, my name is Wen and my company is Knit Knit. I've been at CP Trade Seller in December and I was just on the Martha Stewart show in March, so things have been pretty good. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a triangle cup bikini top. Intermediate. The materials you're going to need are size 10 knitting needles, size 9 crochet hook, a worsted weight cotton yarn, a tapestry needle, a cable needle, a stitch marker, a measuring tape, and scissors. So once you have all your materials, we're going to start with the triangle shapes of the bikini top. Measure the width of the base of your breast. Multiply the number of inches by four and round this number to the nearest even number. This is how many stitches you'll be casting on. So I'm going to hold the yarn doubled to get the right gauge. And then we're gonna pull a length and cast on. I like to do a long tail cast on. It should be about three times the width of your intended piece. This is a slip knot, and I'm going to insert the needle into the knot and pull it tight, and then I'm going to cast on. For my piece, I'm casting on 24 stitches. So after you've cast on your stitches, you're going to measure from the base of the breast to the nipple. You're going to multiply the number of inches by five. For my measurements, I'll be knitting 10 rows in stockinette stitch. And stockinette stitch is knitting one row and purling one row. So I've knit my 10 rows, and the next step is to start my decrease row. I'm going to knit 10 stitches. And now I'm going to do a slip slip knit decrease, where I will slip two stitches knit-wise, place it back on the left-hand needle, and knit them together. And then I will place a stitch marker and knit two stitches together. And continue knitting to the end of the row. And there's your first decrease. The stitch marker helps to um, keep your placement so you know where to decrease so you don't have to count um, your stitches all the time. So you know it's going to be two before the stitch marker and then right after the stitch marker. The next row I'm going to purl and I'm going to decrease by two stitches again. Um, you're going to knit nine stitches and then you're going to purl two together. Slip your stitch marker. And now we're going to purl two together through the back loop, which I use a cable needle to help me out with because it's sort of a tricky stitch. So I'm going to slip two stitches onto the needle, turn it 180 degrees, and slip it back onto the left hand needle. And then I'm going to purl these two twisted stitches together. and continue purling to the end of the row. So the next row is knit, and you'll be knitting eight stitches, and then knitting two together, and continuing onward. You'll be decreasing in this manner until you have two stitches left. Once you get to the end, you're going to take your stitch marker off, knit the last two together, Okay, go for it. So once you get to the last two stitches, you're going to leapfrog the right stitch over the left. And 
And then you're going to keep this loop and take your crochet hook, insert it through, pull it tight, and do a simple crochet chain stitch for the strap. And you'll do this for about 18 or 20 inches, or however long you need it. Just snip the end, pull the yarn through, and just make a knot. So once you finish that chain stitch, you're going to repeat the whole process over again for the second triangle cup. Take a tapestry needle and some yarn and stitch the two pieces together. Now to do your side straps. Take a tapestry needle again and attach it from the base of the triangle top. Just. Insert the crochet hook and do a crochet chain stitch. And again, this stitch can be about 18 inches long. You're going to repeat the chain stitch on the other side of your top and then you're all done. Thanks for watching. You can find more about me uh, at knitknit.etsy.com and at knitknitknits.com. Now, you don't have to walk around topless all summer, unless you want to. And you're super stylish. Until next week, make sure to follow us on Twitter, become a fan on Facebook, and leave a comment below.